Hey crafty peeps, I have a super easy farmhouse DIY video for you. It's farmhouse for the whole house. This is also a collaboration with Linda over at Faith Chick 777 and Christina at Christina Elizabeth. So let's get right into it. This is a simple three ingredient project. I picked up this little welcome sign from Hobby Lobby in their spring section. Now I did get this last year, but they probably have something similar this year. And then this house sign and the home sign are from Dollar Tree. Um, I like them as is, but I thought let's add them all together. So just using some E6000, I'm gonna hang this welcome uh, sign, wreath, whatever you wanna call it there at the top of that house sign. I'm absolutely loving these signs that Dollar Tree has come out with, with them already looking farmhouse and rustic. Um, they make making decor so much simpler. And then how cute is that little home sign with the windmill? I mean, it's so cute on its own. Obviously you can just buy it that way, but I really like how this leveled it up just by gluing it two pieces to the back of it. And now we have this cute home sign. Uh, again, easy farmhouse decor. Just one glass in, you're already on my mind. When it gets late, I always realize As I said previously, this is a collaboration with Linda over at Faith Chick 777 and Christina Elizabeth, and we are both bringing you farmhouse for the whole house. So we're gonna make some projects there for different rooms of your house and hopefully give you tons of ideas. And I will have both of their videos linked down in my description. This is another project that is just as simple as gluing a five pieces together. So I start out with this wood round. This is literally from a tree that we cut down in my yard uh, this winter, but you can buy these uh, at any of the craft stores. And then I'm taking a Dollar Tree candlestick and with some E6000, I am adding that down to the wood round right there. And then I'll put some more E6000 on the top of the candlestick. And then I'm just adding this jar also from Dollar Tree to the top. And we're making something for your kitchen. Now, if you want something a little more like black and white farmhouse, you can add um, some of the buffalo check ribbon around the jar. You could paint your rooster. I'm keeping this all neutral because I just love the wood look and all these three pieces of wood matched. And then I'm just grabbing this bead. Now this bead is one that is flat on the bottom and it's just in my stash. I'm not exactly sure where I got it, but again, I'm sure you can get that at Hobby Lobby. And then just this little wood uh, rooster. Um, it came from another shop, but it, these little um, wood pieces, um, Dollar Tree does have some, but also the different craft stores as well. Now, I originally used E6000 on this little rooster, but because I have to dry this piece upright, it started to slide down. So I went back and used hot glue and that worked perfectly. I let it dry overnight and now I have this cute little jar for my kitchen that you can add treats in. You could even put a couple dog biscuits, whatever you'd like to put in there for your kitchen. I gasped when I saw these at Dollar Tree, so I picked up one of each. Again, this is a super simple project. I'm gonna pop off the bottoms to the pig and the rooster, and we're gonna glue them on top of each other and just make a tall um, piece here for your kitchen. And then I'm just gonna go over to my uh, Cricut, and I am going to type out Farm Sweet Farm and add those to our animals here. Like a drug, I am hooked on you. Sweeter than summer wine, baby, just hold me tight. Like a drug, I am hooked on you. And that makes me say, oh man, you make you feel like paradise. Yeah. 
for the font for the cursive sweet one, I used BFC Spring Blues. And for the farm, I used BFC Banana Shake. And once I get those down onto my animals, it's just a matter of gluing them. And I have a cute little tall stand for my kitchen. grab these three items from Dollar Tree. Uh, two of these jars, they are from the Crafter Square. They came out at fall, but I, I believe they have them year round. And then one of these bathtubs from the little girl section for the Barbies. And I'm just going to scuff it up with some sandpaper so that when I paint it, it will, you know, adhere to the plastic. Now I chose to paint it black. Um, I, again, I want to kind of go for this like old rustic tub but of course you can leave it white as well because that also works so I'm just taking around with my black folk art uh, chalk paint and then after I get it all painted I'm going to take the um, sandpaper again and kind of scuff it kind of take off a little bit of the paint and then that white will show through and it will look like an old bathtub Okay, and now I just went to my Cricut again and I cut out uh, the words cotton balls and cotton swabs for these two jars and, you know, cotton swabs, aka Q-tips, <laughs> and then um, add them to these jars here. And then the jars just sit in the bathtub, cute to lay on your counter. And then I just grabbed like a little hand towel and tied a little ribbon around it and added that as well. That's really just for decorative purposes. And again, another easy peasy project to add into your bathroom and tie in the whole farmhouse theme. I grabbed these birdhouses from Dollar General. Uh, they were just a dollar, so actually a little cheaper than <laughs> Dollar Tree now. But Dollar Tree does carry lots of birdhouses items, so that will be no problem if you wanna find something at Dollar Tree. So I'm just popping off the roofs here. I love the corrugated metal look. And then I'm covering them with white chalk paint. It's not, don't have to worry about it being perfect. It's just so that the colors don't show through with the fabric. Both of these fabrics are from Dollar Tree and I am over the moon about them. I just never quite know what to do with fabric. And so here's a chance for me to use these kind of kitchen looks um on something so <laughs> i'm just using some glue here and i'm gonna glue on the fabric and then just kind of wrap it around the back so it looks nice and uniform um you could also just cut it down to size and maybe like fray the edges i think that would look cute too and then once you get the fabric on both of them all you do is glue that those roofs right back on and i have the cutest little uh birdhouse kitchen things to hang up in your kitchen.
Just one glass in You're already on my mind When it gets late I always realize that I need you Are you thinking about me too tonight? It's no secret All my friends already know There's no reason To hold it back, I let it show All my feelings Are you thinking about me too? Let the music play Like a drug I am hooked on you Sweeter than summer wine Baby just hold me tight Like a drug I am hooked on you And that makes me say Oh man You make it feel like paradise God damn I think I'm gonna lose my mind Oh man You make it feel like paradise Paradise I grabbed these little houses from the dollar spot at Target. They were three dollars, um, and the little rooster there also from Dollar or yes, Dollar General. And you can find houses like this as well as at Dollar Tree. And even if they're a little bit taller, um, and then you can use one of the roosters from the other project. Um, also, they have little houses that are flat at Dollar Tree that look just like this, and you can make a sign with it. So I covered the H, the M, and the E in black chalk paint. Now, there is already an ind indention for the letters, and I wanted to get that wood color through. So using a Dollar Tree wood um, kit here, a wood cutting kit, I just started tracing the lines with this. This was definitely something out of my comfort zone, something different to try. And if this is something you don't want to do, it's no problem. You could either make a stencil, um, you could put stickers, you could use your Cricut and make the letters. I just wanted to try something new and see how natural I could get this. Now I did feel like the wood was a little bit too light. Um, I was kind of going hoping I could get the color to be closest to the rooster. One of the thoughts I had was to use uh, some of the antique wax from uh, Waverly and put it into the letters there and it would give it that dark brown. But I went ahead and just used one of my chalk pens. I really love the brush tip ones because you can get them into like every crevice. Um, I will link those pens because I love them and you wouldn't think a little brush marker like that would be great with chalk and it's very pigmented. I really like them. So that was just as simple as coloring in those letters now and then setting them up as the rooster is the O. A mental picture in my mind just to keep this moment till the end of time because I know that it might be over after tonight. So before I change my mind, your hands are And then just to add a little bit more interest, I'm going to add this brown ribbon to the top. Um, if you go more the black and white version, the Dollar Tree like buffalo check would look awesome too. But I was trying to keep that natural wood look and so I just put this all around the top and then that completes this project.
I hope you enjoyed these farmhouse projects, farmhouse for the whole house. Don't forget to check out Linda and Christina's videos that are linked down in the description. And until next time, happy crafting!